There's a lot of innuendos in this video, isn't there, discreetly family? There? Yeah. Don't know what you're talking about. No, no, do I. <laughs> Hang on, I've got to start. Right, just, 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 compose yourself. This is like take eight. We're not going to show the other takes, other than I did have my t-shirt on that was pink, oh, and it blended in with the plaster, and you could just see my head. Hello, everybody. Hi. Um, a few years ago um, was our wedding, okay? It was it our was. wedding. Yep. Woo! Yeah. So it was our six-year anniversary. It will be. We married yeah. on the 7th of August. It was an amazing day, wasn't it? It was. It was brilliant. We, we had a little, like, little smile <laughs> in the church. We were on the air hoppers. Yeah. Um, there was even a bear on the dance floor at yeah, one point. there was. It was just a lovely day with our friends and family. And when you get married, and hopefully you will, people say the time flies. And it truly, truly does. And I wanted to do this video today because there was one thing that happened where, like, traditionally in the UK, it's, it's very common in the evenings to sort of have, you have a main meal with a wedding during the day. Yeah. And then when your sort of your evening guests arrive that are just fringe people that not always really you, know, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. you yeah. tend to have like a hog roast they like with a pig with apple sauce and buns really really nice uh, but we wanted to do something different we wanted to um, have a fish finger sandwiches like these real nice gourmet ones and the day was so busy it was announced yeah the fish finger sandwiches are ready it's like oh yes but we were so busy just, i was too busy dancing i was and dancing like, or talking to someone and all of a sudden i seen people walking out yeah like eating fish fingers yeah. sandwiches it was like, oh, we'll get one in a minute. But I remember clocking some person, a fringe guest in the evening, one of your old work colleagues' husband, with a plate like that high going, I'm like, I don't even know that guy. That's crazy. And to this day, it's one of the, like, the most upsetting thing about our wedding day. We didn't get a fish finger sandwich. We didn't get one. And they were epic. It was a gourmet, lovely bread with lemon pepper mayo, not tartar sauce, lemon pepper mayo, ketchup drenched in there, and chunky fish fingers. Although, I think the fish fingers were just standard ones by the end. So we nice. are going to try and recreate the, the, the gourmet dinner that we never had, that we paid thousands of pounds for. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make an epic fish finger sandwich. I know it sounds like a fish finger sandwich. This is... Oh! Amazing. Amazing. Love a fish finger sandwich. Yes. That was the reason why we had it. That was the reason we got it's married. We didn't, we don't love each other. We no, just no, love no, fish finger sandwich. That's the reason salmon. we had them at our wedding. Oh yeah, yeah. So let's start off by making the mayonnaise. It's a lemon pepper one, so we can add a little bit more lemon and pepper to it. Super stonkingly quick. Oh, if you've never made homemade fresh mayonnaise before, do it. Not just for your wedding day. Mayonnaise is for life. All right, so what we have here is some salt. We have some Dijon mustard. I've made it in the past with English mustard, but this is going to give it a little bit of spank. Just uh, an egg yolk. We've got some... Are you allowed to say spank? Well, I mean, a nice little kick. Yeah, maybe that's a bit better. White wine vinegar. As it's lemon pepper, you would add some lemon juice anyway, but we're going to add a teeny bit extra. Uh, we've got some oil there. You can use vegetable, canola, grapeseed, uh, any oil you want, but you go for a mild one, really. Unless, apparently, olive oil was a little bit too extreme for it. And the only other thing is pepper. Okay? Yes. Yeah. And that's all you need for mayo. Right. Got it. Mayo is like definitely one of those things you like take for granted. But if you've got like these ingredients lying around the house, which most of us do, you can make a nice fresh batch and it tastes amazing. You can tweak it, add some garlic in there, flavoured oils. Oh. So salt goes in. Salt. What's that? That is the white wine vinegar. Beautiful. That's one egg yolk and then the Dijon mustard. Sorry. Oh, it's not going to come out. There it is. Pepper for now and lemon juice. I want to whisk this together just on its own first of all for about a minute or so for it, so it all incorporates together. Right, so Mrs. B is whisking that up and what we do next is we take our oil and don't dump it all in in one go. In fact, the very first bit when you slowly add it in is the most critical time. So add it in like half teaspoon amounts at first and then we slowly pick up the pace. That's what thicken it and makes it mayonnaise. So all we're doing is taking little half teaspoon amounts of the spoon mixture adding it in, Mrs. B's whisking it, and I'm doing this as we go. If you're doing this on your own, you can do it exactly the same way, or even a little blender will speed it up. <laughs> this is where you turn it back on. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna take about five minutes of adding little bits at a time and whisking, but it's really important. Once you get about a third of it in there, we can increase it by adding a stream in there. And now I don't need to shout anymore. Do you realize this is, with this whisk, you have to press the, keep your button on the go. Yeah, it's, we, we broke it. My arm's aching. Not sure if you can see the slight change in colour and the texture there, it, it is starting to thicken up. So if you've got a jug like this, this is where we can really start to increase that and you should see a massive difference as we whisk, okay? okay. Nice steady stream. Okay, let's go. Okay. 
Hey, I've got an idea. On our wedding day, this feels like something like a team effort, isn't it? Imagine our, our wedding day on our speech, we could have been like, and now we're going to make <laughs> together. <laughs> oh God, that sounded wrong. <laughs> I'll take that out. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Mrs. B. This is getting me thinking. Like, we're working as a team here. And now uh, we're just going to do a brief uh, mayonnaise making demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> that was subtle. That was subtle. No, that sounds just as bad. Oh. No. I'll leave that in. I'll let Linton decide. No, it's not right, good. Right. But can you see the difference there in the texture? There we go. It's yeah, it's getting there. Nice. So that's what we're going to keep doing. We'll jump, we'll jump to the stage where uh, all the oil's in there. And there we go. Look how nice wow. and thick in that is. Huh? It's you see that? Yellow to white. It has, yeah. All right, so we can make some adjustments now. All right, let's if taste it. If we need it. to. Bit more lemon, bit more pepper, and a bit less mint. Mint? I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to, you know, I really like those speckles of pepper in there. Almost like vanilla in the whipped cream we did the other day for the brandy snaps. And then you just go for a little bit of lemon at a time and then just stir it through. All right, try that. All right. Mmm. Yeah? Yeah, that's really good. Tastes nice. Well done. <laughs> Thanks. That's why I married you. <laughs> Stick it in the fridge, keep it nice and cool and chill it up. Now we're going to make homemade fish fingers. Um, you can make homemade breadcrumbs with a piece of bread, make your own bread from scratch, but have you ever had panko breadcrumbs? They're those extra sort of crispy, flaky Japanese style ones, which give up a super, ooh, my God, I'm leaning on the tripod and it just went down. Super lovely crunch, right? Yes. Now I heard the other day a way that you can actually get a, because we're going to bake them, you can get a better color by par baking the breadcrumbs first for sort of toasting them. So they're going to go down onto our baking tray. We've lined it with the seal pack. Um, like this? Yeah, just we want to make sure that it's nice and evenly scattered out though, okay? Do, do, do. Because we're just going to toast it. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're giving it a blooming good shimmy. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to get some spray oil, or you can use normal oil. Just find this is a little bit easier to direct and won't go absolutely everywhere. I'm quite yeah. excited to see if this works, yeah. So they're quite sort of plain and boring breadcrumbs right now, but hopefully this should toast them. All right, so in they go. The oven isn't completely preheated yet, but that's hot enough. Only about five minutes. There you go. It's stuck. Look at that. High Perfect five. timing. So we'll just let them go golden brown, hopefully. Never done this before? No, never. Do you reckon the wedding venue went to this effort? No, I think they just pulled a pack of frozen fish fingers out the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this bowl here is reserved for our breadcrumbs. Uh, and this is another bowl we're making for our dip for the fish fingers. Ready? Ready. Okay, so we're just cracking an egg. Lovely jubbly. We've got some plain flour. Boom. You can season this as well if you want. We could add some paprika in there. I love paprika. I know. And also a little tablespoon of our mayonnaise. Oh, see how much that's thickened up already? That's yeah, going in there too. So we mix that all together and that'll be a nice sort of batter that will cling to our fish. So actually when our wedding day, we, the chef said, um, is there any food that you would like? Here's our menu. And I gave him my cookbook. I was like, like, no, we don't want any of that. We don't no, want that it's now. It's not that rubbish. And um, <laughs> we had um, stuffed patter shells for my first cookbook yeah. and three different desserts, mini trio desserts that he did there. It was awesome. And I remember them ringing me like the day before the wedding saying, oh, do you know where your husband got those pasta, no, husband-to-be, got those pasta shells from? We can't find them anywhere. I didn't and know I that. Like, did you not? No. And I was like, Oh, you can't find them. <laughs> it's not like the most biggest epic wedding fair. Oh, my dress doesn't fit. They can't find the pasta shells. That's a nice sort of, yeah. You can see it's sort of thick enough that it will cling mm -hmm. to the fish. All right. Oh, here we go. Yes, we're getting a little bit of color on there now. Can you see that little patch there? Let's get in there. <laughs> At the moment, the way we're laid out, Mrs. B's got to go in here, haven't you? Yes. To wash your hands. <laughs> All of a sudden. Looking good, is it? All right. Oh, wow. Uh, wow, well, yeah, they look nearly burnt. Yeah, I really hope this is gonna work. <laughs> Last night was Saturday night. I went to three different supermarkets foraging. What an exciting Saturday night, foraging for fish fillets. The best one and the best selection was in the cheapest of the lot. And this is um, in the fridge aisle, a big old fat chunky cod fillet. Now you can get them frozen as well, but whatever method you do, when you thaw in it out, 
we're letting this just sit on a board with some kitchen towel because you want to take as much moisture out of it as you can look if i do that it's all sort of wet there you want to dry it out so the batter will cling to it better if it's frozen do exactly the same but obviously let it thaw overnight first get rid of all of that moisture there we go look at that a nice selection of color it's just got it going so it's gone from being that sort of pure white panko breadcrumb color to lightly golden there's some that are a little bit more catch than others but if you wanted to you could season this now as well we'll leave it as is all right so just to show you that's nice and dried now before we dunk it in because everything else is ready we are just gonna cut doo, doo, doo. Oh, three fairly evenly sized chunks oh. all right so we take uh, a fish finger look at that try and use it all with one hand and then what you've got to try and do is sort of lay it in in one go like that and then lift the breadcrumbs on with another hand. Can you do that? Can you scatter them on top? Yeah. Just so it's coated. You can press it in a little bit as well if you need to. So that our fish finger is being built here. Because if you move it around too much, it'll get like the batter everywhere. There we go. All right, so then you just grab it. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Lay it down. Boom. Hey. One massive homemade fish finger. Cool. We've got two more to do. So keep that thing where you have one messy hand like this to lift it. So keep, you know, when you're doing it on your own, you can have one clean hand and one marinade batter hand like that. Make sure it's on there, like I say. Just doesn't need to be too bad, but just enough so that it grips on there. Boom, straight down. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Three epic sized fish fingers. That is an enormous piece of fish right there. So we can just add a bit more spray oil on there as well if you want, just to try and get that even colour. And that should only take about 15 minutes. Okay. <gasps> That's it, pretty much. Mm. All right, the fish fingers are done. Looking Ooh. stonking. Um, I love this, the kids' uh, Father's Day card. You're never too old to need your dad. And they're eight and 12. <laughs> Thanks, girls. That's all about independence we're encouraging. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Never too old to need them. Brilliant. Um, and there it is. Thanks, Beck. You wanted a book to read. I did want a book to read, you but... You said you wanted some kind of autobiography, and then you were watching a wrestling show documentary the other night, so I was like, could you? It was thing on Vice. I'm, I'm sure, it's, sure it's okay. Yeah, thank you. Whoops. <laughs> I'm only joking, I am actually looking forward to reading it. Right, with that done, we're just gonna wash up a bag of rocket salad and it's time to serve it up. All right, so we've got a bag um, of rocket salad and I've got to come out here to the new sink. Fill it up a little bit. Instant wash salad, just make sure there's no slugs in it. Should we plate it up out there, it's a bit brighter. All right, we're gonna do it out here because the light is so much better, it's gone a bit dim in there. One slice of bread, we were going to toast it, but then it's not a sandwich, is it? Nope, it's a tasty. And no butter, we put a mayo straight down. Oh my gosh. That oh, looks good. A teeny layer of rocket as a bed. We might only need two, but look at those. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That looks amazing. More mayo on the top. Oh, Just a little okay. bit like that. I'm sure that it did go to this effort at our wedding. You know what, I really don't think they did. Ketchup on the top and then along the bottom as well. And maybe just a few more bits of rocket on top. Chuck that down there on top. And that <laughs> is our wedding sandwich. They did not look like that. Didn't they? But that looks 100% better. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get married again? Yes. Wow. There we go then folks, our epic homemade lemon pepper fish finger sandwich. Let's get back into the other room and have a little taste. That's just like cutting, cutting the cake. Cutting go the on, straight sandwich. through. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> to be fair, I think that is pretty much big enough. They go everywhere. Ah. Oh my gosh. Can you marry a sandwich? That's amazing. <laughs> Was it worth the nearly six year wait? Yeah. <laughs> Words can't describe how good that is. It was something comforting. It is, it's ultimate comfort food, a mm. finger sandwich. Yeah. But a gourmet. 
is even better. The lemon. Oh. Pepper in there. And the breadcrumbs. Yeah, and the mm. chunky fish. Oh my gosh. Just the extra homemade fish finger notch. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's so good. So when you get married, and if you have already been married, maybe get married again, maybe don't have a whole roast, have a fish finger sandwich and don't eat it and then replicate it nearly six years later. Yes. Thanks, Mrs. B. Thank you. I've never seen you. <laughs> like, go at a sat. Look at that. That's my half, isn't it? Mm -mm. All right. Give it a go. If you do try it, share your pictures on social media with us. Goodbye. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. Uh, this is just giving us a quick idea, actually. If you had some interesting wedding food, because we really hope that you give this a try, so you can feel maybe a little bit of a unofficial part of our wedding day is that weird yes that's weird but anyhow <laughs> if you had an interesting dessert or dish at your wedding you want us to try and replicate it maybe we could do that oh, or maybe they could do it and then send oh yeah it, and then send, send it, it to us and we just eat it no no like to tag you in the picture oh yeah not physically send you the food oh I meant send it's a bit you the harder picture. yeah yeah and then we could try and replicate it maybe i don't know maybe. Yeah. yeah you're at our wedding weren't you yeah did you remember having a fish finger sandwich no no. <laughs> All right, that bloke must have had all of them then. <laughs>